it is finally time to go to more little free libraries and I cannot wait. <laughs> my first little free library video was over six months ago and I have 20 books that I want to unhaul. My channel is actually a year old this week so I thought it was a perfect time to go through all of my shelves, everything I have accumulated basically since I've started this channel, find some things that I want to give a new home and hopefully find some goodies to take home myself. I am once again bringing a friend with me so we'll see if she wants to be on camera. We will be rating the little free libraries on build quality, creativity, and design and quality of contents. I'm unhauling these books because I don't think I'm ever going to reread them and I think they should be in the hands of somebody who would enjoy them more than I did. I just want it to find its home so if you see me unhauling a book that you love it doesn't mean that I hated it or that I don't like you. We can like different things. This is the stack. Let's go explore some little free libraries. Hello friends, I'm here with friend Trista. Hi! We're gonna go check out a bunch of little free libraries. Let's go see some books! <laughs> we are at number one. It's very cute. Let me show you the party. It's like, it's got some rogue books. <laughs> Nothing particularly, I would say, fun in a fiction way, but I think some fruitful. Oh, lots of general fiction, lots of mass market paperback moments. Yeah. Some, yeah. Oh, some Marvel comics. Ooh, Marvel comics. It's fun. A cooking. Oh, that, that seems interesting. And yeah, just a magazine. I got you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, boom. Great, okay. I'm gonna say contents a two. Build quality, these are out of five, by the way. Oh, out of five, yeah. okay. Um, I would guess a four. I'd say four. I really like the birdie, so I'm giving it a five for creativity and design. Oh, it's got like a bunch of different birds. That's cute. Pretty. Okay. Hello, friend. <laughs> All right, we're popping in the Atlas Six here. What do we got? Looks like some kids' books, some manga. Under the Midnight Sun. The Associate. I don't think much for us. Okay, how about we rate it? Um, creativity design, I'm giving it like a, two. a two. Yeah. I love the color. I think it's very pretty color, very but I don't think we're ever gonna beat that one that we just saw that was beautiful. Contents, I'm, I'm at a two as well. Build quality, it looks pretty sturdy. I'm giving it a four. Yeah, we got a slanted roof. There's no moisture getting in there. Good stuff. Target acquired. <laughs> it's so cute. Five for Five. for creativity and design. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like there's a lot of thrillers in here. Good, because I picked some thrillers to put back. Amazing. Creature novel. Yeah. Magic Treehouse. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love Magic Treehouse. Such good memories. The Food Lover's Guide to Content's honestly solid. Al Capone does my homework. <laughs> no, I just put it in. Oh, oh. <laughs> and you put the one in the window? Yeah. Amazing. Build quality, I'm giving it a five. Contents, I'm giving it a three. I would give it a three. And creativity is a five. Yeah. This is so good. Okay, so have some kids stuff and then adults. Ooh, they have the vanishing house. They, we saw that one in the other one. Oh yeah, we did. We're gonna put in some domestic thrillers in here. <laughs> there we go. And some Celeste Aang. I read her other book. Um, everything I never told you. I have that one in the back too. <laughs> that destroyed me a little bit. Lord of the Flies. Oh my god, there's little bookmarks. Oh, I want a bookmark. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I want this one. Little bookmark. That's so cute. Oh, they have a Ruth Bader Ginsburg quote on here. Incredible. All right, 
a build quality, I'm gonna give this a five. It looks real sturdy. I don't know. No, maybe a four. four. She's a little shaky. Okay, um, creativity and design, I'm feeling three. I like the colors. I like how it's angular. I would give it a four, actually. Okay, okay. I would give it a four. And then content, pretty solid. I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna go four. Kind of funny that we've ran into the same book. <laughs> the warriors. Oh, those are so good. Where are my warriors kids at? The rabbit. Oh, the rabbit hutch. Oh, I've heard about this. It was like Barnes and Nobles as a debut author. It was like one of their, I don't know, things that they promoted a bunch. Quest for transcendence of a desire for love. Set in a crumbling apartment building in the post industrial Midwest. I really like the stain on the wood. Take I don't think so. Oh, I have a ton of messy coats. Oh, the end papers. We were eight years in power in American tragedy. I don't think I'm going to take it though. Oh, we gotta read it. Um, build quality, I think four. Four. Feels sturdy. Creativity and design. Two. Two. Content. Um, Three. I'm giving a three, yeah. I think it's not for us, but there is good content. Yeah, yeah, agree. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I see the graveyard book. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Look at the handle. That's dope. Incredible book. Please read. Thank God for cows. I'm sorry. We have to see what this. Oh. Would you do me the honors of opening up Thank God for Cows? Of course. Oh, it's oh, it's signed. It's a ton. Oh, this is a signed copy. Oh, I'm taking this for sure. This is just about cows. Oh, it's poems. With silly little illustrations. I want it. The bookshop on the corner. Is this that? looks cozy. And the secrets we kept. I heard that. Ooh, I think I want this too. Sin trucks. What do we got behind here? There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, it's 84 train crossroad. <laughs> I've never watched I've never read it. I haven't read it either. I think I want it. Okay, let's put in some things. Alright, we're adding in Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Do you like that? Ah! It's very much like this big thing will happen. You'll be like, oh, this is going to take a nice, chunky, meaty part of the story to happen. And then it's over in a page. Yeah. Okay, um, design. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay. I'll give it a four. Um, build quality. Four. She looks good. I'm going to give it a five. Okay, okay. I'm not really shaken. I like that this is metal, though. I don't think that's, yeah. College admissions cracked. What's this guy? Joy delivered. Okay, I don't think anything for me, but I do have some deposits to make if they will fit. Build quality, three. Creativity, I like, I'm gonna give it a four because it matches their house. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, a little four, matches their home. Um, content, go for two. Two. Cooking New Orleans style. That's cute. Let's put our friends in. I like that there's just a bunch of um, romance in here. Have you read The Kiss Quotient? No, but I've heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it a lot. This is the mass market paperback game. Okay. Um, creativity, like a one. Like a one, probably. Build quality, three. Two. two? I like the metal roof, though. Okay, two for build quality, and then... Two. Two, yeah. Oh, it's so 
pretty. Okay, not for us. We'll go to another one. Very cute books though. It gets a five for um, creativity design. Content's not NA. NA. <laughs> okay. We have our new friends. They're one of the Gossip Girl books. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, I'm gonna give it a four for creative and design because I like the side panel thing. Yeah. Maybe a three for build quality. Yeah. Three. And then I would say content. Just for the gossip girl, five. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Hello, Sally and I are here to show you what we found at the Little Free Libraries. It was very successful, they were incredibly cute, and I found some things to take home with me, so I'm really excited. I managed to unhaul 20 books, which is very exciting, and I'll have, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, Sully's in the way, but there's now a space on my shelves that we can fill with new books, which is very, very exciting. Okay. So the first thing I found is very, very silly. It says, Thank God for Cows, Poems and Drawings by Jesse Karkin. And I just thought it would be fun to read some together. So let's just open to a random one. The Running Nose. I turned on the light in the middle of the night because my mom's nose was running. And make no mistake, it was keeping me awake by running up a hill on a treadmill and simply refusing to stay still. Illustration. The titular poem, Thank God for Cows. <laughs> what is so interesting about this? Sally could not stop sniffing the page. Okay, Thank God for Cows. I asked my dad to clean my room. I smiled and handed him a broom. He tilted his head and laughed instead. Not to the cows come home, he said. Then get to work and please don't slouch. There's already five cows piled on the couch. Okay, so these are very silly and I'm glad that I own it. <laughs> the other two books I got are actually both about bookstores. So we have the classic, 84 Chan Cross Road, which I have never read, surprisingly. And this is apparently a 20 year correspondence between a American writer and a British bookseller. And it's just like letters. And I would like to read. It's also incredibly short, it's just letters. So I thought this might be fun. And then we have, this seems to me to be like a cozy book, like cozy fantasy, but minus the fantasy. Here's the back. The back is what got me. Nina Redman is a literary matchmaker. Pairing a reader with that perfect book is her passion and also her job, or at least it was until yesterday. She was a librarian in the hectic city, but now the job she loved is no more. And then she moves to a sleepy village and buys a van and turns it into a mobile bookstore. What's not to love? Please let me know if you have read this because I don't think I've ever heard anyone talking about it and I would love to hear what you guys thought about it. I found all of these in the same library as well. It was a stacked library. Very good. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you for joining me on this little free library journey. We actually made a little pit stop in which we got Charlotte's Best Chocolate Chip Cookie. I also got some carrot cake and a lemon bar and it was so freaking good. I'm definitely gonna go back there in the future. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure. It was lovely to have you along. I'm really glad that I could bring a friend along with me again. I think I'll probably do one of these little free library tours and unhauls every six months or so. I know that I could take my books to a secondhand bookstore. I could sell them on Pango or on another reselling site, but I just, I like to go little free library hunting because I really like to see all the designs and what people have created. And I get to find some gems that I would never have found in a bookstore. If this is your first time to my channel and you'd like to continue hanging out, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join our little cozy corner of the internet. I've got some videos over here that you might also enjoy if you liked this one. I post every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, so I will see you next week. Bye.